Hello. <clears throat> Excuse me. My name is Lars, and uh, I am going to do a review of the um, Widex Moment 440s that I've been using for about uh, two months now. Uh, my history with uh, with hearing loss is that um, I had some uh, infections in my ears and tubes when I was uh, young, and uh, then I had some exposure to loud music a lot, uh, and started to get ringing in my ears about 25 years ago, um, and have been living with it. And then gradually uh, going to the audiologist and the uh, ENT, et cetera, started to notice a drop off in the higher frequencies. And it got to the point where I wasn't able to understand people at work. Um, people would uh, joke around uh, about how bad my hearing was, and I couldn't understand my wife and daughter. And I went through all this stuff with um, where I was like, can you just speak up a little bit? And um, maybe that would save us a few thousand dollars. And I said, you know, it, it wasn't uh, so great. Anyway, um, so I got these. I first tried ear goes, and they just w wouldn't do it. They just were not good enough. Um, and then I got these Widex uh, 440s. So let me show them to you. There we go. And it's got one switch, you'll notice. And the um, they're marked uh, with a color, uh, blue blue for left and red for right. And um, so my review is going to be, um, I, these are really the only really high-end hearing aids I've used. I haven't gotten Phonak or, or any of the competitors so I'm just going to be talking about what I like about these, not in comparison to another. And I will say that one of the frustrating things about getting hearing aids is you can't test them out. Like headphones, you can say, oh, these look, these are better than those, and these are better than those. With hearing aids, it's like you get a recommendation, you get them, and you say, I guess this is what I'm dealing with with hearing aids. Um, so what I'll say uh, about these, what I like about them, is they do add clarity to uh, what I'm hearing. It's a lot better. I don't say what uh, as often. Um, I still do. You know, it's not perfect, uh, but uh, especially with one-on-one, -on -one, uh, with a family sitting around and talking to me, that's great. Watching TV is great. In uh, a theater, uh, it's frustrating with people behind me because you can't. I can. The one, a cool thing about Widex app is you can get the. You can set it for a direction. But even so, you have the microphones back there, so anybody talking behind you is going to be really loud. Um, and obviously that's true with any hearing aid. And I'm still getting used to being in the crowd. I thought that being in a crowd, the hearing aids would really help me discern people, but it makes everything louder, and it's, it's tough. It's, it, being in a crowd is, is very stressful. Uh, Widex has a cool little uh, thing called Comfort, where you it's a choice on the app where you press that, and it sort of calms things down. It's not as sharp and, and irritating. Um, so I'm still getting used to all that. I had to, um, another frustrating thing about hearing aids is the audiologist has to program them for you and you can't see what they're looking at or maybe some will show you. I, I could, I think it's, they're like, oh, this is too complicated. You can't look at it. So with an equalizer with the stereo, I could say, oh, I want a little more treble. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, down a little. Oh, up a little. Ooh, the, with the audiologist, you have to say, Everything's sharper, and they go, oh, sharper, okay. And then they, you say, well, the sound of a fork on a plate really bothers me. Oh, okay. And then you get it back, and it's still bothering you, and you're not sure. You have no visual to figure out what's up and down. So that's been kind of frustrating, is having to convert these kind of complex things into words and not being able to play with it myself. With, um, with, you know, with an equalizer, you can play with it and sort of get it just right and understand what's what. That's a little frustrating. I'll say... Um, Another one thing that I think, so th I think these do a really good job. I'm guessing that they do about as good a job as Phonak. I'm not thinking of trying others because I think this is what hearing aids sound like. Um, a couple of negatives. The charger here, it's open on the top. So when you take, you can't, I know some of them have a little cap. Some of the brands have a little cap, which is nice. Uh, I have to carry a separate little container, and the container's nice, so it's just two pieces, but you kind of think, geez, just give me a cap, and I'd be able to, to carry them around. Another thing, and this is what's really disappointed me here, is I, I said to the audiologist when we were trying to get to decide on a brand, I said, music's really uh, important to me. I'm not an audiophile. I can't just discern those tiny little things, or oh, well, I'm i got, got to get a high-end system or whatever, but I love listening to music, I and I want uh, the music to be clear, and I was excited 
that Widex really promotes itself as the best headphones you'll ever have. Start streaming music through your Bluetooth. Oh, you're going to be amazed. They really say the best headphones you'll ever have. Well, when you stream music through these, it sounds worse than a tiny little radio, a uh, transistor radio. I mean, it sounds worse than the cheap free headphones you get on an airplane. It's just, it's about what you would expect for a tiny little micro or um, speaker this size, but to it's marketed as the the best headphones you'll ever have. I mean, they're they're so far below that. And I actually thought something was wrong. Is if you you can compare them to just the little Apple earbuds that come, not even the earbuds, the earbuds that come with the old iPhones, so much clearer. Uh, and it just it's very tinny and just really bad sound. And I called up Widex customer support, and they said. Yeah, that's uh, they're not going to be as good as your your Apple earphones. And I thought, well, geez, you know, it's that's not really uh, how they're marketed. So that was disappointing. And I would say I I don't even use these for phones for, for taking take a phone call. I sometimes use them for podcasts, and even still, it's a little irritating. You can't hear the clarity of the voice. It's just very tinny and staticky, um, just like a bad phone connection kind of. Um, it's not, it's not a bad connection, but just cheap, you know? Like, there's nothing wrong. It's just a very, very, sounds very, very cheap. So for, again, for things that cost several thousand dollars and market themselves as, as having this aspect, uh, it's very disappointing. Um, I'm sure it'll get better with time, but that's where it is now. And so I think, summing up, I think the Widex is a good choice uh, for hearing aids. I mean, there's, it certainly feels like what I paid for. Um, some of the marketing, as I said, is not really, um, uh, it, it was disappointing, but, um, oh, another thing I should say, but, but I think it's, a, it, I think it's certainly worthwhile of going to, I wouldn't be disappointed. I don't think that going with another brand would get me much better is I guess what I'm saying. One other thing I should point out is they sent me, um, so you get this box, you know, it's a very nice package and they sent me several, uh, uh, you know, the, all the paper that comes with it. I was missing the instruction manual. And what's weird is they have this, which is called user instruction. You go, oh, there's my instruction manual. All this is is just the hardware, like how to put it in your ear, how to uh, how to charge the thing. It doesn't tell you like how to switch the program, uh, all how to how to use the app, etc. And I thought, gosh, they don't give you anything. It turns out they left that out. Uh, they left out the manual. I had to get it online. And once I got it online, I go, oh, now I understand this whole thing. But it seems to me that, see, these are user instructions ear sets. So it's really like, <laughs> you know, the, just these things, like how to put them behind your ear, like obvious stuff, and missing the, um, the actual user manual. So I would say, like, if you get these and you have the same problem I do where you're like, nobody's really telling me what this button's for and how I get it louder and what I should think about and troubleshooting, make sure you got the right manual. Um, so there's my review of the Widex. Um, hope it was helpful. And that's it. Bye-bye.